Guess what time it is? It's the best time of year. Yes, it is Erin Condren Life Planner launch time. We have three new designs coming at us. I'm excited to show you one of them. What I think honestly is the newest design that Erin Condren has had because it is a true neutral design. We have, boom, canvas design. So you can already see a little preview. Very gray, very light neutral true neutral gray not pastel tabs here going on i got the horizontal weekly sent to me and i'm excited to share it with you let's get started and see if this is the planner for you if you're a neutral lover if you want to just go wild with stickers and you don't want to have any other colors throwing you off on your theme this is the one for you i think so let's get started dive in see what we got going on this year I'm Planner Brit. I love to make planning fun for you all, whether you have been planning forever or you're just getting started. I'm here to help you have fun while organizing. So let's dive into what is going to be one of the honestly, I think most popular designs for this year. Here is the Erin Condren 2023-2024 brand new life planner. It is in the canvas design. So that is one of the three new designs that Erin Condren has. We have this canvas design, we have an inspire colorful design and a pastel wildflowers design. But I think that this canvas design is going to be so popular because it is a, for the first time, true neutral design by Erin Condren. So we'll jump into what that means. but. Wanted to also mention that the layout that I'm reviewing in this canvas design this year is the horizontal weekly. So we'll look into what that looks like and what it is like compared to last year's, which hint, hint, it's the same. So we have, before we get started, the ruler classic that Erin Condren likes to include. You can use this as a bookmark. You can use it as a ruler when you're drawing things in your schedule, clips onto any page that you want. I usually just take these out. They come with every single planner every year. So I have a million of these and I use a stencil instead. But if you don't have a stencil or something that you wanna use for a straight edge, you can use this, it is helpful. Also, before we jump in, we have the coil design here. So Erin Condren does have three classic coil designs. We have this silver platinum, we have a gold, or you can do a rose gold. And on some of their designs, they'll have a multicolor coil as well. So you can check that out and that might be a game changer for you on which planner you go with. So go ahead and check that out. Here we have the general cover, but you can customize your covers at Erin Condren. So you can take these off anytime, either if you wanna just pick a different cover when you buy it, or if you want to change weekly, monthly, whenever you want, you can just unclip these off and then they just boop, boop, clip back in there to reattach to whatever new planner you want. One of the best things about Erin Condren, you can also personalize most of your covers by putting your name or initials or quote or anything like that that you want. So diving in, we have this dashboard page. So this is something that was changed recently, I believe it was last year for Erin Condren. It used to just be a lined page on the inside of these covers, but now we have these actual dashboards, these little boxes here. The great thing about the insides of the covers here is that you can use wet erase, dry erase, or even Sharpie is what I use a lot of the time. I always say that because I like that it doesn't rub off at all, it doesn't smear, and then you can still erase Sharpie if you just go over it with a dry erase marker. So we have that, and then we have this cover. So we have the vellum here with the Erin Condren asterisk. Really soft, really nice. It adds a little feminine touch there. So what they're saying is the true neutral that is exciting everyone is that you will not see, so we're told, we'll see as we go through here, any color besides gray, besides this light gray color throughout this planner. So that means if you love stickers, you love washi, or you hate color and you don't wanna see any color in your planners, then this is the planner for you. It is perfect foundation to be able to just leave plain, maybe no distractions, you want a really professional setting, or to go so wild with creative direction, whatever you want, throw all the stickers, all the washi, all the highlighter in there, and it is yours to play with. So here we have all of the cover pages here, truly are neutral. So July, August, September, October, so all of them. Gray tabs, which we've never had. Usually the neutral option for Erin Condren has been pastel tabs, like the wildflowers this year. But this time they have listened. We have gray, we have very light, 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 light covers here. So we have your year overview. And then the 12 boxes that Erin Condren has had forever. A lot of people use these for months, but I personally use them for other things. I use them for either memory keeping, which could be by months, or I use them more so to remember things like here are splash pads we want to remember, and here are restaurants, here are murals, whatever it might be, things like that is usually what I like to write in here to be able to kind of remember monuments and fun things to do or places I want to try. Then we get a lined page every time as you saw, and then voila! 
the monthly page. Usually there are designs here. Whatever the theme is, there's a design. And if you're wanting to cover with stickers or something, it's really, really, really tricky to have to cover it up. But now, whatever you want to do with this page, it is your canvas, literally. So here we have the classic layout of the boxes. They put some holidays in here. They have more holidays in the back if you want to add some more. And then the notes tab or column over here. And then this dashboard page. So hopefully people like these little asterisks here. They don't have color, so it shouldn't throw off any theme that you want. Unless you don't like stars or little asterisks like that, then you might not like this. But honestly, I love it. Even these dots in this line are so light. You really can do whatever you want with that page. And a lot of people for this page, going back really fast, if you need some ideas, people use it for meal planning, for habit tracking, for what I use it for oftentimes is kind of budgeting. So I'll put like major upcoming purchases I'm thinking of, maybe bills that I have to pay. Here I think I put my kids college savings amounts, like how they're tracking and then, or how we're tracking with them. And then down here, I think I put when bills are due, something like that. So you can do that or you can put whatever you want there. I've done before where I've had birthdays and important dates coming up, but I thought that was too redundant with the calendar for me personally. So you can use it however. And then this is what the horizontal layout is. So horizontal, you get the week view here and then you have horizontal days as opposed to the vertical or the hourly, which is also a vertical version of the planner. So if you like seeing things horizontally, this is a great one for you. Most people will write their their appointments here and then maybe write a priorities here or vice versa. You can write appointments that you have here, write things that you have to do or memories whatever you want here. Honestly, I'm usually more of a vertical planner, but if I'm doing memory keeping, I like this better. I would love to be able to, and I might use this for this here, write a memory and then maybe even print out a little picture or draw a little picture or write a word or like word of gratitude or something there for all of these. So this is what this looks like. And then you have the extra notes section down here and the calendar in the corner. I like the calendar. Some people don't like calendars on every page. I like it. I like not having to turn to the beginning of the month. You have four to five weeks and then a blank page, and then it starts all over again. So you can get the Erin Connor planners either in 12 months or 18 months. So this is an 18 month planner going from July, 2023, all the way to December of 2024. So you see this, and then at the end, we get the last couple of days of December going into January, and then we get our notes pages. So there's notes section with a good number of note pages here. Let's see, three and a half pages double-sided, and then a ton of heritage awareness observations. So if you wanna add any of these that aren't in the calendars already on the monthly pages, then you can do that, any of these that you want. And then they have some contacts in the back. I never use this. I wish I would remember it's here, but I never do. And then this I do use actually. Going into the next year, if I see, if I know something that's coming up, there's a vacation or an important school date or whatever it might be, then I do write these down here to be able to make sure that I have them ready to transfer when I get my new planner. Stickers, Erin Condren always has this. I didn't know what to expect actually for the canvas one. So it makes sense that they're pretty neutral. Will I use these? Probably not. I'm not a huge fan of the circles for these ones when they're just plain circles. I kind of like when they're more decorative maybe because that might be what I use it for. I might use these to do stickers for some to do's headers, but that's it. And then the birthday stickers I do actually use. I use the birthday stickers a lot. So those ones I will use. And then some like event stickers that you can just write whatever appointment you have. And then in the back, the reason why I took this out is because there are two coupons. Whenever you get the Erin Carter and Life Planner of any design, any layout, they give you two coupons here to be able to save 20% off each. You can share with a friend. You can be your own friend, use it yourself. That's fine too. And then we have these, uh, these kind of look like um, color blends from last year. These little three compliment cards that you can share with someone or hang up for yourself to encourage yourself. And then we have the pockets here. So every year again, not there aren't a lot of changes. The main change for this year is the design. <laughs> not really any layout changes, not really any extra pages or anything like that. But we have this pocket that is great because I don't know what people would do without a pocket here. I actually add pockets to mine a lot of the time with little coil connectors here. And this year, Erin Carter actually came out with a dashboard pocket, I'll show you. So this is my favorite accessory that Erin Carter came out with this year. So you can just clip this in and it's a pocket dashboard. So in addition to having a little bookmark here, there are two pockets, so this side 
in this side. So if you, this pocket isn't enough for you, even though it is double-sided, which is great. I put appointment reminders in here. I put bills I need to pay. I put things I need to, like Christmas cards I need to mail out. But if there's anything else that you need, just throw it in here. Throw some of these. That comes in a pack of three. I'm pretty sure it's like $10.50. If you need extra pockets now, they are here. And last but not least in the planner here, besides this back cover, is the perpetual calendar. So the perpetual calendar is great because it gives you a calendar that you can just write in any dates that are recurring or not. You can just use it for one year if you want. But the idea of the perpetual calendar is that you write birthdays or anniversaries or holidays that are recurring. And then every year you can just see it. You can add to it and remember people's dates or whatever's going on. So it has all of the dates here and then also important contacts, passwords. I don't use these pages ever because I don't think about it. More holidays and dates. So you can take these and add them into the calendar here. But I use this every single day. I look at this to see if it's someone's birthday, if I need to add to my calendar, add to my planner or message someone. I use this every, every, every single day. So I love this. I like that the perpetual calendars come in the planner. I don't need probably the 20 that I've gotten with all the planners that I get over the years, but I give them out as gifts also because they're so practical. So I love that little perpetual calendar. And then the back cover. So we got to see the front cover. The back cover also has the asterisk. Again, if you don't like this cover, just order it with a different cover. You can do whatever you would like. Have interchangeable vegan leather covers now as well for the first time this year. So that is the Erin Condren canvas design horizontal layout for this year, seven by nine with a platinum coil. So customizable if you want a different design, a different coil, a different cover, whatever it is, you wanna add stickers, Erin Condren has things for you. So that is the Erin Condren Horizontal Weekly in the canvas, true neutral design for this year. Comment below, let me know what you think is your favorite part of this design. You like it? Are you leaning more towards a colorful design? Are you excited to be able to have a true neutral? I know that I'm excited about this. If I get a weekly planner, I'm going to be using one of these because the sticker kits are calling for this one. So let me know what you think. Remember to like this video, subscribe to my channel, go check out the A5 Daily Duo and the Inspire if you wanna see the opposite design, kind of going from neutral to super colorful and see what you want or where you're gonna land in between. And I will see you all at the next video. In the meantime, come connect with me on Instagram at Brit so we can keep making planning fun. Bye.